there are two ways to create an Oracle database. One is using manual methods and the other is using an Oracle tool called uh, Database Configuration Assistant. For creating a database using manually, what you do is you log in in SQL using the following command that is SQL plus sys slash oracle slash sysdba. Then you start your database in a no mount state, run some scripts, you run some scripts which create those databases and then you run additional scripts like catalog.sql for creating certain dictionary tables and catrock.sql for running PLSQL procedures. This was the older way of creating the database but right now Oracle recommends you to create the database using Oracle Flexible Arc uh, uh, using Database Configuration Assistant. Using this tool it becomes very easy to create a database. So for that I'll show you an example now on how to create a database using Database Configuration Assistant. First you go into an Oracle Home click on configuration click on configuration assistant So right now we are logged in into the database configuration assistant. Through this tool, what, what can we do? We can create a database, we can configure database option, which means if your existing database is in a single threaded server and you want to set it to multi-threaded server, you click on configure database option. If you want to delete your existing database, you click on delete a database and managing templates. We'll show you later what is managing templates. You can create your own existing templates here. And then if you want to create your database to have automatic storage management feature, you use configure ESM. By using this option, the Oracle database supports automatic storage management option. So you can use that feature by the DBCA. Now let's understand how to create a database using DBCA. Click on create database option, click next and then it shows you the various types of templates. This template I created it manually. This template called sample I have created it manually. This is a um, template of my existing database. I created it using manage template option. Now I again click on create database now I select what type of database I need. Depending on the template, database template option I select, the memory parameters for those databases, the various parameters for those databases are changed. If I click on data warehouse, then the database is made in such a, the database is made in such a manner that when there is large queries it can handle large queries so naturally the temporary storage area memory is higher for data warehouse while if it's a simple database then you use a general purpose template while if the database is having a lot of transaction processing then you click the transaction processing template what happens is by selecting each of these options the database parameters changes according to it. So let's say, let me see what happens when we click on database warehouse template. So when we click on this, you see here the various initialization parameter for it. You see the database block size is 8 KB while DB file multi block route read count is 32 count, uh, 32, which indicates why is that value set that's why value is a bit higher. Why is it set like that is because there are going to be lots of queries. So you, you want those activities to happen in the memory. Uh, 
the number of processors has been put to 150. Now let's see what happens, what is the setting for general purpose database. So just click on show details and you see here the db file multi block read count is only 16 because here the query it doesn't have to retrieve lots of data. So similarly we have settings for transaction processing too. Next what we do is we'll see the custom database option. When we click on customer database you can create your own database you will set your own memory settings and everything. So let's right now create a general purpose database. Click on general purpose, click next. It asks you for the global DB name. So I give the DB name as angel. Click next. Okay, that database already existed. I say give it a name as test. Click next. And then it asks me whether I have to configure it with OEM. I say yes. Uh, do I want email notification? I say click on this. So what would happen is my Oracle Enterprise Manager would be configured with this. So I can just say my mail server. If I am using some existing email ID, I can just provide that out here, my mail server details here. And then what would happen is whenever the Oracle database control or database control management sends me a mail it will go through this id i can click here enable daily backup so if i want my backup to happen daily at a particular time i click on this option so if i click next i give in here the password for sys user system user dbsnp user and sysman user I give the password as Oracle. I click next. Next it shows me what it asks me what type of file system am I using. The default type of file system which we use is a normal file system. This is used for normal file system like for example when you store your data in a hard disk, a normal hard disk and um, the files, the normal file system for a normal file system you say click the file system option but if you are using automatic storage management then you click on ASM option what it does is it in this when you are clicking this option ASM you need to be sure that you got at least more than one hard disk what happens is the data files structure everything is decided by Oracle itself in ASM option when you drop a data file automatically the files are dropped from the database from the hard disk also so there is less maintenance issues on those ASM option third option is raw device raw device is particularly very important when we are using real application clusters so then let's see let's create the normal default file system database using default file system option click next then choose the recovery option for the database now what happens is I click on specify flash recovery area so now here my destination where my flash recovery area file would be stored is mentioned then I have here flash recovery area size that's the, that's the size of my flash recovery area this is the place what happens is in Oracle database you got a facility of uh, storing uh, flashback logs so you can flashback your database to a certain situation certain time so all those flashback logs are stored in this flashback recovery area and also you, when you use rman when you take the backup of your existing backup and store it in the hard disk it's stored in this particular area that is called the flashback recovery area now if you want your database to have archiving facility you click enable archiving archiving is a facility whereby your database is being backed up every minute the archive logs are being generated click on edit archive 
mode parameter and this is the way the file would look like arc percent s percent r percent t now these are unique these files would be uniquely generated and here you will specify the destination where this file this archive files would be stored if you don't specify it it will be stored in flashback recovery area next i click on next if i need some sample schemas which is provided by oracle database itself i click here if you have some scripts to run additional scripts to be run yeah you click here and write those give the location of the scripts next what happens is we click next if we are having lesser memory or something then it will tell us that we got some le lesser memory to increase the memory and all those details so i click next now uh, what I did now was I increased the memory of my database by shutting down some processes. Now you see here, here we can see how much memory would be allocated, total allocated memory for physical memory, how much would be the memory allocated. You can decide the size of the memory here. Click on sizing and you can decide the default block size, how much would be the processes. Here we can decide the character set. This is important because suppose you are not using English and you are using certain local language. So, so, so suppose you are using some local language like say Japanese or something. So then what you do is you don't select the default uh, language character set which is WE8MSWIN12582. You use a Unicode character set. So then you click on Unicode. So now what would happen is it would support Japanese and Chinese languages. So default language set which is being supported is an Aleph AL uh, is an American language for English. It supports English character set. And uh, so you understand what is this character set. You use character sets to support various languages. To support languages which are multi-byte then you use Unicode character set. Click on next and then it will ask you, wait a sec, click on back, click connection mode. Now if you want a dedicated server which is the default, you click on that. Or if you need a shared server, this is required when you have lots of connection and you want to reduce the load on the machine, then you use a shared server connection. Click next and now the destination where the control file is to be it's mentioned here it's in oracle base oracle base is the location where your oracle software is present this was decide defined when you install the oracle software and ORAR data and inside it the db name inside it the control files would be created control1.ctl control2.ctl and control3.ctl now suppose you got two three hard disks it is important that the control file exist in different hard disks because if your control file is present in one hard disk and you, you lose your control file or you lose your first hard disk then your database can't be recovered so it's very important that your control file exists in some other hard disk also so in that way the recovery recovery scenario is much better click next this is create database option and now you click on finish when you click on finish the database is created So now you understood how to create a database using database configuration assistant. Let's understand some other option using DBCA. The other option is configure database option. This option you use to suppose you want to change your database key options like you want to set your database from dedicated server to shared server. So then you use configure option 
of DBCA that is database configuration assistant so you see here you are in the configure option you want to enable email notifications then you click in here you want to change your default password you can use this option you want to change it to shared server you click here additional feature of dbca is you can use it for deleting a database and the fourth important option is for managing templates what is this template is you saw when you were creating a database the options like a general uh, database database warehouse database these are templates templates are normally stored as xml file in your database and for creating template what you do is you click on manage template suppose i want to create a template of my existing database then i click here if i need to create a template from an existing template i click on this option so then it will show me all the template existing template you see these are the templates so i can select whichever i need but if i need to create a template from my existing database only the structures which would be data files the table space and everything then i click this option I give in the role name, whatever is the role name, username and all. Let, let's say from an existing database. I click which database. So what would happen is the template would be created. I'll give a name for the template. Name as tester. Give some description click on next now it will tell me whether I need to store the file as it is in an existing location how it is for the existing database in the ex like if maintain file location which means like the existing files how the files are currently stored for the database if the template should also contain the same file structure or should the files be made in an oracle file layout be made like how it is used for oracle flexible architecture click on finish and then the files are created the template is created so here you see sample is an example of the uh, template which i created in this manner i click on show details And you see, it is having the same.